Love Island Sophie Gradin was found dead at the age of 32, leaving fans and friends devastated by the tragic news. And in her last interview before her death, the reality TV star revealed how the online bullying she faced after appearing on Love Island in 2016 had been horrific. Speaking to Radio Air alongside her Love Island co-star Zara Holland three months ago, Sophie was asked about the effects online trolls had on her life. It was horrific. I think when you get so many comments on the scale we did coming out of thousands of followers, Sophie explained. There are fans and positive comments but people would focus on the negatives. There would be so many negative comments. Sometimes I would look for it. They are commenting on the way you look, the way you talk. They would come up with an opinion of you on a TV show where they've watched you for 45 minutes. And you've probably only been on 10 minutes and it's cut down from 24 hours. It was very hard to deal with because you take it like you're being judged. It can really get into your mind and really affect you. The harsh reality is, it can end up with that person taking their own life. And as you've seen in the media, that is what happens. Can you imagine being responsible for that? Sophie's current boyfriend Erin Armstrong announced the sad news of her death on Facebook. Writing, I will never forget that smile. I love you so so much baby, you're my world forever and always. Her death isn't being treated as suspicious, police confirmed. In a statement, Northumbria police confirmed, at about 8.27 p.m. yesterday, June 20, police attended a property in Medburn. Pondland, where sadly a 32-year-old woman was found deceased. There are not believed to be any suspicious circumstances surrounding her death. A report will now be prepared for the coroner.